Okay, I want to do another video of another one of my collections. This one is of the characters Run Amuck and Run About. Run Amuck is the white one, Run About is the black one. And uh, again, I'm doing these videos for two reasons. One is just to see what I have and have reference to these toys instead of digging open all these boxes looking for them because I have a lot of transformers but also because uh, I want to be able to say goodbye to figures I'm gonna give away and let go of which are these two which are the um, uh, Exclusive set um, by Botcon or the or the a former Hasbro Transformers Collectors Club exclusive. So this was actually hard to get at the time when it came out. And I also want to point out when it came out. This was really really. Uh, popular and was sought out and wanted because uh, at that time they did not have uh, these two characters made and it was during that chug era so that's why they don't look quite like look like the cartoon uh, with liberty taken to implement some of their own designs but uh, and these are actually a repaint uh, of wheeljack and tracks but overall these were really uh, nice figures for the time um, yeah I'm not gonna be able to get the heels here um, but yeah I'm uh, now looking to uh, give these figures away um, because I have these. So I, I want to, well, I forgot to also show the box. Has, it comes in a nice box set along with these collector cards, which are really, really nice. So this really makes this a nice exclusive set. But back to what I was saying, I'm giving away because I have these. And unfortunately, I do not have the originals, which I really would like to have, but um, I'm not willing to pay a lot of money just for old used toys when the quality of the newer ones are much better. So let's go over them. Uh, what came after these Chug figures was these Legends figure. And at the time, I didn't realize that Runabout uh, was <laughs> this character, or this one, I don't remember, one of the two, so I actually had to pay a little bit more, because I didn't realize who they were at the time. Uh, but nonetheless, I have them now, and I'm really happy to have them. Even though these are still considered chug, and they don't really fit in with the current main line, um, you know, uh, I like the small scale, uh, but they're not quite cartoon accurate, but that's why these are cool. These are the War for Cybertron Target exclusive, and, uh, I mean, these are definitely much better. You take a look, and I'm really happy to have them because they fit in nicely with the War for Cybertron Season 3 Decepticon figures. And then what's coming up are the Masterpiece by x Transbots, And I'm really looking forward to getting them even though it's by x Transbot, which you know there's going to be some engineering design issues with it. But it's going to look really good. More importantly, it fills in that missing gap for the uh, masterpiece. So, 
this is what I currently have and don't have and uh, what I am going to give away oh I do want to point out you know it's these are old but they're still cool it's just because they're old they don't fit in with any current toy line but it does fit in nicely with this uh, uh, unique toys is it unique toys yeah Galvatron this is uh, the second release which is the cartoon color accurate I had the first version and sold that one but I like this and I recently tried to check the batteries and they designed it so that you cannot replace the batteries so because they soldered uh, the wires together and so once that battery ran out uh, that's it no more light unless you want to do a lot of work to get a new battery and solder it but my point is they look good together it's just they don't have a cyclonus or a scourge in this same uh, chug design aesthetic um, and then along with the rest of the characters well, actually, I think this will fit in nice with the Unique Toys uh, Terracons because they're not masterpiece size. And uh, the Unique Toys uh, Predaking or Predacons, which probably do another video of that just to show some comparisons. But yeah, since I have it here, you can see Galvatron fits in nicely here with uh, I mean the war for Cybertron fits in nicely there that's why this fits in nicely there except you're not going to have all the characters and since I have it here the chug uh, this was the chug this was the Asia exclusive Galvatron with the nice paint finish so you can see how this looks nice but this is now an old toy line it's still nice because it has like this nostalgic feel to it um, and this figure wasn't particularly that great but it's my point but now it's about the new uh, figures which is here, the War for Cybertron. And uh, I am gonna have to let these go because they just don't fit in with my collection anymore. But I wanna make sure that these are given to the right people who appreciate them. So members of the Transformers Hangout group on Facebook, uh, I will be creating some more challenges um, to give away these toys. That's my new um, strategy instead of just giving toys away. You got to really do something to earn these figures. And this is not about just getting new toys that people want. I mean, you have to appreciate these toys for what they are because these are still really nice figures. But anyways, I, I babble on. So... This is uh, my current collection for Runabuck Runabout. And I just want to point out again that um, I don't have the originals, which I really would like to have. Then the chug, the current main line, and then the chug that I'm going to look to get give away. So that's what I have, and I'll be doing more um, comparison videos because these are really nice to have.